Yeah. Morning. Right, time for another update on the channel. We're gonna have to be awkwardly close to get on this mic. So the update is, as you might have seen in that previous video, we fell in love with a farm. touched on it in that previous video but there was two lots wasn't there yeah there's lot a which was the main farm so it's all the farm buildings and all the basically the farm infrastructure everything that's there all the fields and everything uh, and then the second lot is basically a field with a pond in it a large pond slash large small pond lake, slash small lake. Yeah. we still don't know quite what the term technically term. it's not a lake but it it looks to us like a lake it's marketed small lake I mean, I've, I've fished in smaller fishing lakes, so exactly. anyway, it is what it is. An expanse of water, a puddle. We wanted it so that we wouldn't, we'd know that no one else would have it. That makes sense. <laughs> I want it and no one else would have it. Uh, so we decided that we would um, put an offer in for lot A and B, and we knew it was going to be more favourable to the sellers. Yeah. Because it's just more straightforward dealing with one buyer, one solicitor. The guide for the other bit was 50. Yeah. So it, in the whole scheme of things, it didn't seem like a lot more, but we've been here before with guide prices, haven't we? Auctions, a guide price, typically the, the properties we're looking at, an auction finish price sale price has been yeah. anywhere between 40 and 50 percent over the guide if, if not double like some in some cases yeah like the one we missed out on earlier in the year was not quite double but it was getting on yeah. that way wasn't it yeah so of course sealed bids the nature of a sealed bid does drive everyone to their max so you kind of never know what you're what you're up against but anyway yeah. so that was on a thursday thursday noon bank holiday weekend and we were hoping to find out on a Tuesday. We knew they were having a meeting on the Tuesday, so we thought they were going to be sent the offers on the, uh, before the weekend and they'd have a think over them. So the formal bit was happening on the Tuesday and we'd hear at some point on the Tuesday. Anyway, turns out they were just sent, giving them the offers in person. Because they don't have email. Or mobile phones. So is it a little bit more um, traditional route, I guess. So anyway, this is what happened. We got it, all of it. Did you tell them? I just ran out giggling. Giggling? Have you the email? Yeah. We got it, we got it, and we got both of them. Oh, We're actually away for the like weekend, and the girls have been here. Like for five minutes, I wasn't thinking about it. Mm. I'm just like, oh, he's going to film, he should be awesome. We just, we're away for the weekend with family, and there's this holiday house with fields, and the girls were there, and I was thinking. Oh. Oh. And I literally went back in, and I just got the email. Oh, and no. He's going to start crying. We're still not getting horses, but <laughs> pigs, sheep, that's fine. All right. Oh, uh, well done. Me? <laughs> Your problem has had to prop me up for about three weeks. <laughs> so as you can see, we got it. <laughs> it feels like a while ago now. It, well, yeah, well, it, it was. It was, uh, when was it? August. It's very hard trying to keep it from you because everything we say, it kind of leads to it. You know, we're doing a tidy up or we're selling lots of our stuff. Oh wait, because we're moving. Yeah, nothing about it is not stressful, is it? Every step, you know, the thinking about it, then the putting the bid in, and then getting it, then there's, there we had a small bubble of maybe an hour. We were like, yay! No! 
<laughs> no, no, I mean, we're still really excited, but I mean, after yeah. that, you're like, holy moly. We've got to sell our house, so we've yeah. got to find a cash. <laughs> My workshop. <laughs> no, I'm not taking it with me. It's going to be a, a painful goodbye, but it's going to be a happy hello yes. at the new place. Well, what's the reason for moving is... We've realised that we've done as much as we can here, and predominantly the main reason is the kids and their ages, meaning that we can move now before any yeah. girls get in secondary school or get even close to secondary schools. Um, that's the when, not the why. But yeah. Yeah, that's the when. That was, that was what meant it me to happen now. now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but also we've come to the point where we were getting valuations done on the house just to see how much it was worth. And we were asking them like whether it'd be worth doing a back extension, which is something that anyone should get done if you are looking to do projects and renovation. There's no point doing it um, at this point. Um, it won't add a huge amount of value. And so we thought, right, let's start looking around. And we've done yeah. this chat before. We've said, you know, we've missed out on properties. Um, and we want to be able to run workshops and we want to be able to do meetups. And that just wouldn't yeah, it's really happen here. The, I mean, you'll see it in the future. But th this place is, is just a whole different level of projects. But it's, not, it's still going to be a lot more community-based stuff and just endless opportunities whereas here where there's limits it's good to do something that scares you right <laughs> every day <laughs> they say that don't they yeah no, that's what I'm thinking. yeah mm. so anyway it's super exciting timeline we are still um there's gonna be a bit of a crossover which gives us a little bit of a buffer we are gonna need to live on site temporarily not temporarily for a couple of years <laughs> during the main build. I mean, we started viewing mobile static homes, lodge, cabins, cabins, static caravans, and nothing really fit the bill. So of course, gonna build it, aren't we? Yeah. So we've got a fabricator making up the chassis, or two big chassis, and we're, anyway, th there's a whole whole load of stuff coming. Uh, so hopefully the idea is to, to get that done over winter, hopefully inside a barn, yeah. and then wheel them out when it's done see me trying to sell mugs or t-shirts it's because we need the space clear now. out i've sold uh, like out. insulation shit we're all over facebook marketplace we are, we are. sometimes we have a really good few days and we just i've yeah. sold rsjs yeah. and insulation sheets timber yeah it's, it's just declutter someone's start again on our... no i meant to not start the video again then we're going to start again oh, I see. accumulating yeah. Hoard <laughs> hoarding um yeah, someone, uh, one of our Patreons said, my only advice is declutter, declutter, then declutter again. And I was like, yeah. yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. We're doing a first all declutter, but then when we have a house viewing, it's quick, shove it everywhere, hide it. Yeah, it's going to be a, a big process, but, um, you know, it's exciting. And now everyone is up together at the same pace. We've been sharing a lot of this uh, behind the scenes with our patrons. Uh, and there's still some stuff and content over there if you do want to go over and see it. So we just didn't want to jump the gun as far as sharing, but we were so excited to share the news. We uh, we shared it over there about a month ago, wasn't it? Um, do you... So well done, everyone, for keeping it quiet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there we go. You are up to date with our shenanigans. And now the adventure really begins. You're terrified, aren't you? Any questions at all? We all do a question and answer. Uh, we are doing a Q&A video next week. We've just put it out on Instagram as a post. If you've got any questions that you want to ask us, anything over the last Family nine years. Life, fostering, building. We can't say we anything. are wisdom. No, no, no. We, we, can, we can attempt we to answer the questions. Um, but if you head over to Instagram, then you can put them. We're going to keep it all together. So put the questions there. Yeah. Not down below because more fire through we're going to get mixed up. It's all good fun, and it's going to get so much more fun. Yeah, go on then. What? Say your words. If you can, do it yourself, and we'll see you next time. Let's get back to sweeping now. Mm -hmm.